for viewers, Laura Bowman joins us now. She met a recent African immigrant who reached for the stars and caught one. Laura, what do you have for us today? Well, we've all heard of Roger Miller, right? The world famous soccer star from Cameroon. Well, there's a restaurant named after him just outside Washington, D.C., and we're going to take you there. The owner talks about opening a business in America. Here we go. We are standing outside the Roger Miller restaurant here in Silver Spring, Maryland. This place is always being written up for its delicious West African food. Come on, let's go inside and meet the owner. So we're here with Patrick who owns the Roger Miller restaurant. And Patrick, for immigrants who come to America, especially Africans, are there some things they need to know about starting a business? Yes, they have many things they have to know. Uh, compared to honey restaurant in Africa, this one is more, more complicated. The inspection, you can say it, the regulation, uh, the license, the renewal license, uh, the condition, uh, the fire, many things, uh, the bathroom to the kitchen, the room, the toilet, he goes on to list how you must hire and treat employees and warns that failure to meet all these requirements means the government can shut down your business. Patrick ran an auto shop back in Togo, but here in America, he not only owns this restaurant, he makes the food. One of his specialties is grilled tilapia. He says he caught these fish and cooked them when he was a child, as he lost his mother as a boy. He told me that he's had far to come, but now he's in the right place. I came because I'm looking for opportunity and I'm looking for uh, <laughs> more door open. And then I don't want to be a restricted to one place. I want to be free in the world. Joining us now in the studio is Daniel Corona. Daniel helps immigrants from Africa and the Caribbean get their businesses and professional lives started when they are new to America. He works for Montgomery County, which is just outside Washington, D.C. Welcome, Daniel. Thank you for having me. So first of all, tell me about your job. What exactly do you do? Well, I'm the county executive community liaison, so I work with both the African and the Caribbean communities. Uh, in other words, issues, things that are concerning the African and the Caribbean communities I'm the liaison that goes between the county government and the community. Okay, so the African population here in the Washington, D.C. area, where are they from? Uh, predominantly Nigeria, Ethiopia, and Cameroon, Sierra Leone, Niger uh, Sierra Leone and, uh, and, and, and Ghana. So those are the, the top pop populated African communities in the metropolitan area. Okay, and what businesses do they want to start and what help do they need in starting those businesses? Uh, businesses, most of the time, you'll find restaurants like Patrick, the example you, uh, you, you interviewed, uh, but also other professional services like accounting uh, also are businesses that we've seen people starting as well. Oh, okay. So in terms of um, some of the things that they need to do, I would say legal services, as Patrick told you, uh, you know, in America, businesses are categorized based on, uh, you know, the types of businesses that you're starting. So, for example, you need to know what designation, legal designation, you need to register your business as either a corporation, and there are many subchapters on the corporation or limited liability company. So that really helps you start your business, but also make sure that you start it the right way. Uh, the second one is taxes. You need to know exactly what are the tax laws here in America when it comes to businesses. As Patrick told you, uh, when you employ people, uh, here you have to collect the taxes that those individuals pay to the government and then pay those taxes on time. And the third one and final one, which I think is so important, is the banking regulations. You have to know not only uh, how to make deposits and get, uh, get your money back from the, account, from the bank account, but also credit, which is so critical for you to run your business and for people to pay for your services. Okay. What are some examples of things people do incorrectly? What are some common mistakes that people make? Uh, a common one will it'll be somebody just uh, saying, hey, I'm going to come to America uh, and I have, I have $10,000 in my hands, uh, which, again, you cannot come in with that cash. So, again, it, I would say the preparation has to take place from, you know, from Africa, wherever you're coming from. Use the banking system because of anti-money laundering uh, uh, practices. 
the government would like to track where is that money coming from. So it's so important for you to start uh, again, as I say, from where you are right now, make sure the money gets here in a very correct manner, you know, within a banking system. That's a big one that I see people coming. Okay, and have you seen people's businesses actually be shut down for, for failure to follow regulations, say if they serve alcohol and don't have a, a license for that? Ab absolutely. Uh, I've intervened uh, a couple of times because there's a gentleman who opened up a restaurant but also wanted to make it a nightclub in the night. Well, he didn't know that you need two separate permits, but also the zoning for that area uh, is what permits you to have it as a nightclub. And in this situation, it was not permitted to have it as a nightclub. So again, those are the type of things that I say that you know, people need to be aware of, uh, especially when you think of starting a business here in America. Okay, and I assume all over the country there are offices such as yours that can help people. Well, absolutely, but I, I would encourage everyone to come to Montgomery County first, because again, that's where I work. But second of all, because uh, we, we've seen a growing African population. So from 2005 and 2010, the African population grew by 32%. Uh, but also now, again, my office, which focuses on the African and Caribbean communities, uh, but we have our economic development office. These are all entities that are there to help businesses coming from, the, uh, coming from abroad to locate in Montgomery County. So we have incubators where you know, folks can locate. It will, it will reduce their cost so they don't have to pay a okay. huge funds for, uh, for, for office space and things like that. Great. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I'm sure you help a lot of people. Back thank, to you, Vince. Thank you so much.